100 years ago, this was the place where the Baptists started their work of sharing the word of salvation. congregation started. And as a result of his obedience, many, many have come to know Christ and we are here to celebrate his labor. The call to evangelism. Evangelism is simple. Simply, one beggar telling another beggar where to find bread. Amen. Mm -hmm. You found Jesus, the bread of life. The other man over there is hungry, man. The sister is hungry. The lead picked in and then they die for hunger. Yes. Take Jesus to them. Yes. I have never seen a hungry person reject bread. Yes. Yes. <laughs> give me more, they said. <laughs> but I don't got no more to give. But listen to me. There's a passage, there's a verse in the Old Testament. Jesus said, if your family is too small for the lamb, invite another family to share with you. Jesus is bigger than all of our families. Um, first of all, I would like to thank God for having this privilege to come to this spot. I did not even know that this was the spot where the first Baptist mission began and in the neighborhood of beholding I know that um, that God is real. This gave me to understand that God is real, and that if we believe and we trust Him, then we will be able to succeed in our Christian work. That just helped me to believe more that God is real, that God exists, and all we need is the faith in Him to overcome all these barriers, challenges, and difficult that we find in our Christian work. After 100 years, members of the Mount Zion Baptist Church visited for the first time this place where the history began. I didn't know about this, and after hearing it and I get the history, 
now I realize what happened here. So someone said that the, the parents was some of the parents was christened here are blessed. I don't know nothing about that. But now I know. Because I see what went on here this morning, I get the history and know what happened. So that's all I can say. I don't have much to say. So you're so. good to be part of the Baptist Zion Church? Oh yeah, long time. I have many years here in it. So thank God for spare my life also to to see you and Sammy and being where I am. Because if it wasn't for him, he would not be. I understand better now that to become a Christian or to lead somebody else to Christ is not a piece of cake. Like how the pastor say, and sometimes I just uh, complaining about the pastor and fussing with the pastor without realize that he's going through all these difficult challenges and that I am the one to help him instead of complaining and protesting about what he's doing. So that is a moment of reflection mainly for me because I have had 50 years more or less a little more in this Baptist church but I didn't even know this part. So it's a blessing that the Lord has spared my life to be able to be out here and um, that by faith he will help me to collaborate more with the pastor and protest and fight him less. <laughs> city of God. Pastor, remind us he's coming back for the church, okay? He's coming back for us. And let us do our job. Let us share that joy. Let us share the light. Let us shine it so that others would be able to see. And we want to thank him, spirit of life, to see the place that the church had started. We give him thanks. And I know he's here because he said, when two or three are gathered, I'm in the midst. He's here with us and he's listening. This event was part of the activities of the 100 year celebration of the Mount Zion Baptist Church here in Bluefields, Nicaragua. This is a report of Naila Dixon.